There is some big drama in outer space in just a few hours. A newly discovered asteroid is about to just whiz by the Earth, incredibly close to us in space terms, that is. The asteroid was only recently discovered, and it is one of the closest near misses ever discovered. Paula Tupman is at the Cranbrook Institute of Science today to explain what this is and what it means to us Earthlings. This particular asteroid is interesting for a couple of reasons. Start with the fact that it was only discovered Saturday and by an amateur. And astronomically speaking, it is this close to the surface of the planet. So for instance, here is Detroit right here. And here is California right there. This asteroid is actually going to come closer to us than this distance between Detroit and California. It was given the fantastic name of 2023 BU. Michael Narlock, the head of astronomy for the Cranbrook Institute of Science, explains how it is this asteroid was only discovered recently and not even by a big science institution. Objects of this size regularly uh, interact with the Earth about once every five years. Objects about half the size hit every year and they, they burn up. But the question that a lot of people ask is, well, why did we just see this on Saturday? Was and, so, an amateur. and an amateur. Were, were we asleep? Well, the sad reality is the eyes on the sky are generally done by amateur astronomers. What makes this particularly harrowing is how close it's going to get to the Earth, about 2,000 miles. That it's coming that close? It is very fascinating, a little bit scary, but you know what, you wonder if this, how many times in the past this has happened and we just weren't aware of it. Good point and right on target because it's not unusual for asteroids to come this close to us. The solar system is full of this sort of debris and that's really what it is. It's the leftover stuff from the formation of the solar system. It's as old as the solar system. And size wise, it's about the size of a small bus. The good news is, had it not been discovered, we probably wouldn't have even known about it. It poses no threat and it's small enough that if it did break through our atmosphere, it would burn up on impact. And if it didn't burn up on impact, scientists would likely be able to gauge its trajectory and warn people to get out of the way, unlike the dinosaurs. But there is a butt in there. It's nothing to worry about. It's gonna go by us. It's gonna be uh, an interesting thing. And in two days, you'll have forgotten about it until the next one. And there will be a next one. And let's keep hoping that all of these interviews end with, and it's nothing to worry about. <laughs> the sinister laugh. Okay, again, okay, this one, nothing to worry about. It will not be visible to us Michiganders, not going over in exactly the right place. But again, these things are happening all the time. But how about this, Karen? Yay for citizen scientists. More reason to get a telescope and look up. You might just save mankind one day. You know, Paula, I didn't realize how much they depend on those amateur uh, scientists, really. You know what I mean? That was new to me, too. Yeah, yeah that was that I was, I was saying, well, where's NASA in all of this? That was brand new to me, too. Yeah, they depend on people with telescopes to discover these things. Pretty cool. All right. Just after the seven o'clock yeah. hour tonight, eyes to the sky. Thanks, Paula.